what I mean by that for this first problem. This first problem is very simple. But the main important thing I want you guys to come away from this is this is asking for the zeros. So we say, what is the definition of zeros of a function? The definition for the zeros of a function is the values of x that make the equation true for f of x equal to 0. So the first thing you should do, if you have no idea what to do, you can at least tell me this. What does that communicate to me? That communicates to me that you understand the definition of finding the zeros. You understand that f of x has to equal 0, and you're trying to find the values of x. That can at least get you some credits for understanding what the question is asking. Then we have to look at, too, well, how do we solve for this? Well, now obviously this is a quadratic, right? And so we can figure out what two numbers multiply to give you 4, add to give you negative 5. Because by this time, you should be able to blink your eyes and be able to know that factoring, right? If you did all those 80 problems that I told you to do and I gave you credit for, if you really did those, then you'd say, oh, we pr I probably already did this like three or four times, right? I can do this one. And if you're like, hmm, I'm still struggling with this, then I have extra copies over there that you can go and grab and practice them. Because you should be able to do this by blinking your eyes and saying, yes, I got that. All right, now we can say, oh, now we can set these equal to 0. And if the student asks me, well, why do you go from here to here? Because that's the zero product property, right? You, you can apply when you have the product equal to zero, you can set each product equal to zero because they both equal to zero. See, I'm following definitions. This makes sense because of the definition of zeros. This makes sense because the definition of zero product property. And then obviously you can just solve here. And I can say x is equal to 4 and x is equal to 1. Therefore, I can write the zeros in set notation, 4 comma 1. And then I can say both of them have a multiplicity equal to 1, um, with a multiplicity equal to 1, with multiplicity equal to 1. When you say, well, how do you know the multiplicity is 1? Because the definition of multiplicity, when you have linear factors, the power of their factor is the multiplicity. Do I get any of that information from here? No, I literally just get an answer, right? So who, who's to say that you just take an answer from somebody on their other paper and write it down? Right? Now, obviously, we know that group worked on that, and they spent time on it, they know what they're doing. But I'm telling you guys, you've got to communicate. Definition, definition, definition. Right? Do you guys see how this communicates your understanding about finding the zeros algebraically? Right? Big difference. So 